بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبینا محمد وعلی آلہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد What should we say when our iman is weak? Or not that our iman is weak, but when we actually have a type of shuck or doubtfulness in our iman, when the shaitan whispers to you and, and whispers doubtfulness in your iman. Because that's something very important for us to realize that the believer has to always be on guard. Because you're going, going to be stricken with weak iman. Our iman fluctuates. And you're going to be tested in your iman, in your faith. And you're going to, at times, the shaitan will whisper to you doubtfulness in your heart. So what should we do to defend ourselves? The Prophet Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger alayhi salatu wa salam have left us a path, sarat mustaqim a straight path, in which we can use to and, and, and traverse along that straight path and we have defenses. And those defenses are in our supplication and are, are, are supplicating to Allah because everything in Islam is about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's all about how we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so use your supplication as a defense mechanism to fight off the shaitan to fight off your vain desires to fight off the, the, the evil that will try to engulf you in this world here's what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said regarding the steps we should take if we have shuk or if some shuk comes to us regarding our, our faith. First, the Muslim should yista'idhu billah. They should seek refuge in Allah. Say, a'udhu billah min shaitan, a'udhu billah min shaitan rajim I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed shaitan. Whenever something doubtful Something, uh, 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 something doubtfulness, something doubtful comes into your heart regarding your iman, regarding something you hear from the sunnah, regarding an ayat in the Quran, whatever the shaitan, however the shaitan tries to whisper to you, say, A'udhu Billah min shaitan rajim I seek refuge from the shaitan, the accursed shaitan. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed shaitan. So that's the first step, is that we should seek refuge in Allah, tabarak wa ta'ala, and ask Him for strength. And the second thing is that we sh you should end yantihi amma shakka fihi that you should end what you have doubt about meaning that you should th that doubtfulness you should cut it off immediately that when the shaitan whispers don't dwell because this is how those people who before us the people who have uh, you know, those people of Ahl Zandaka, for example, when you meet people who say, yes, I was a Muslim before, or I was Salafi before, or I was this before, and they're no longer even Muslim or practicing Muslims. Or they're a Christian now, or this and that, or a Jew, or, or whatever, or a Buddhist. This happens. Why? Because these people didn't have the tools. They didn't know how to defend themselves. And that's what Allah had written for them. He had, he had written for them that they would follow their desires and they would follow their, their nafs and they would follow the shaitan. But Ahli Iman, as so long as we have Iman, as so long as we are, have the ability to, to listen to knowledge and to listen to these beautiful steps that are contained in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, then we should strive to defend ourselves from the shaitan. So, Whenever you have that doubtfulness, that doubtfulness comes to you, you seek refuge in Allah from the accursed shaitan, and you cut off the doubt. You leave it. You do not ponder it. Do not dwell on it. Move on. Move on to something khair. And the third thing that we should strive to do, then you should say, and this is what the Prophet wasallam said, alayhi salatu wasalam, yaqul amintu billahi wa rasulihi. That the believer should then say, I believe in Allah and His Prophets. Alayhim afdal salatu wasalam. Amin tu billahi wa rusulihi. That I believe in Allah and I believe in His Prophets. So that's what we should do as believers as well. Is strive to defend ourselves from the shaitan. 
the cursed shaitan rajim another step that we can do a final step to to help defend ourselves is then reading the verse in the Quran and the Quran is the divine speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it has not been tampered with it is perfect it is the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is not an expression of the the speech of Allah but in fact it is the speech of Allah unlike the Jahmiyyah and the uh, uh, the Ashaira and other groups you know those Asharis and Diobandis and others who distort the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they go astray in this matter Ahli Iman doesn't believe like that but they believe what came in the Quran and the Sunnah as it came in the Quran and the Sunnah with the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah so then the believer does what? they read this ayat Yaqra Qawluhu Ta'ala he reads the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where he says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al Hashr or Surah Al uh, Hadid, I believe. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, about himself, Tubaraka wa ta'ala, he says, that he is the first and the last. And he is the most high. There's nothing uh, higher than him. Wabatan. And he is near. He is nearer to his creation than anything else. And that he is over all things, uh, that he has knowledge over all things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has knowledge of all things. Tabarak wa ta'ala. Letting us know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is closer to you than your own jugular vein. Meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's knowledge of everything we do, everything we did, everything we will do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears and sees everything we have done and everything we will do. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows everything we have done and everything we will do. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that He is close to us in that he gives assistance to his slave and that's the ma'iyatillah that's part of the the nearness that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to his slaves subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil anything I said that was correct was from Allah and anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam